Good morning, everybody. I know y'all are getting tired of unboxing videos, auction videos, and even knife videos for a little bit. So let's go get on the boat project. Everybody wants to see some more work on the boat. So today I'm going to get this motor off. I do believe the master sergeant is coming over after a while and help me get it once I get it unbolted. And I think the goal for today is to get that off, get the motor off, uh, get the boat off the trailer, and get it turned upside down. I've got some uh, some uh, four by fours and timbers or something. I'm gonna rest it up on that because the very first step. The next step will be the hull. I want to make sure the hull's in good shape. And I'll get all that done and we'll go to the next step. But for today, if I can get this motor off, get it upside down off the trailer, that's what we're going for. Now, I brought out the big tools, brought out the compressor, and the air tools for these big bolts that's in here. First, I've got to unhook all the controls. And all that is is unscrewing everything. So when I get that part done, I'll be back. Well, that was more interesting than I thought. It is unbolted, I think. Now this plate here, it was bolted there all the way across. Now I gotta try to get a pry bar and work it a little bit and get some of those, get them big bolts out because they're stuck in there. I see two more little bolts down here, but I don't think they're through the motor. No, they're not. They're holding something else. Now, it's not that, the motor's not that heavy. I can lift it with one hand. The thing is, getting it up and over, which the uh, Air Force is not here yet. He'll fly in here in a minute. We are about to have another dog problem. Got rid of that one. That dog problem is gone. And there's fixing to be another one. Right there. That dog breaks that chain one more time and gets over here after me. Mm-hmm. They can't talk to them either. Oh well, never mind. Back to my rat killing. As my granddaddy would say. Well, alrighty, it's all loosed up. The only thing holding is these two little ears right here. On either side, there's a little ear. I'm thinking if I just pry up real hard, it should fall over backwards. Let's see. See what happens. If it don't come off fairly easy, I'll wait until he gets here. And get a bite on it like that. Let's try it right here. How about that? One hand. <laughs> now I can hook the truck to it. I'll hook it to the truck and drag it off somewhere in the scrap metal pile. I've got the numbers for this motor rope down somewhere. If anybody's close around, the lower unit I think is pretty good. I don't think there's nothing on there any good. But if anybody's interested in the lower unit or whatever's left, 
give me a shout all right let's look at this everything looks good I didn't bend nothing didn't break nothing that was already like that I think they should be a drain hole right there myself they will be when it's all done all right that was the major obstacle for today now gotta hook it up and move it I'm gonna move the over here because I want to turn it upside down right here in this area all them leaves I vacuumed out the other day they're all back this tree's almost done shedding I think but uh, they'll fall out when I turn it upside down now we'll need some help with that I'm pretty sure so all right we'll get going and I'll be back in a few minutes we had a round of storms come through last night and uh the boat had been dry inside all that flotation foam now it's 10 times heavier than what it was and it's got water all in it and, uh, for right now I just got it propped up to drain some of that out until I'm waiting still waiting on the Air Force off we go into the never mind but uh <laughs> And while it's loose too, like I mentioned, we'll do some work on the trailer. I'm fixing to take that down. I know it, uh, it's not safe. I'm going to take it down in just a minute. That runner there has got to be replaced, the whole deal. Them boards, the clamps that hold the boards on. Uh, that's not extremely difficult work though. And it's mainly two by fours. And I'm going to put something besides a roller there. I'm going to put a different deal that I've seen before made out of two befores also these boards they've got to come off be replaced these all got to be cleaned up new springs but uh it's coming right along now I'm gonna get it off the trailer uh, when he gets here and I'll show you how we do that I've done that before as long as that little jeep of his will sit still long enough for me to hook to it and pull it but uh that'll be fun to watch too and whoever that was that told me to ditch the flotation foam brother thank you i think you are right i see it's it's soaked solid with water the front too but uh once we get the bottom end done get it flipped back over and start on the top then we'll and we'll address all that all right i'll be back now they say the army does more between six in the morning than most people do every day air force is here <laughs> and what we're going to do here i'm fastened to the jeep and i'm going to pull out from under it and when it stands up like this i'm going to let it sit for a little while and let that water run out of it but well, there's still water in there so bear with me he's gonna sit still and i'm gonna pull out Alrighty, there comes the water. 
That'll just be easier to, when you flip it upside down, it yeah. won't be as heavy. Yeah. Now this flotation foam, we was just talking about that too. That's That's got to go. That is soaked full of water. Uh, it's running out. We give it five or ten minutes and it should come on out there. You didn't put the plug in. We're going to sink. We're going to sink? Yeah. That's a bad word to use around a boat is sink. It's okay <laughs> when it's not in the water. <laughs> Then it'll be so much easier to get to all this stuff to replace it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It won't be that big a job though. Nah. Once it's all. That in good shape, man. Yeah. Well, it's got some. Uh, I mean, this tripod. Yeah, it's got. Some, it's been patched. Yeah, you can see it. And I see some green algae on yep. one rivet right where. Yep, that's leaking. Here's one here too. Yep, once we get it turned upside down, we'll look at it again and I'll, uh, I've got some ideas of how to seal that. But uh, I'll need to take an electric sander and sand all them off and scotch brought it down and yeah. But, uh, once we get there, I'll show you boat guys out there that have done this before and I'll tell you what I think I might do and you'll tell me what you think. Last time this was rescued was 03. 06. Got all three stickers. <coughs> yeah, I pulled one off and that's the one that stick. It's registered now. I went ahead and did it the other day. Yeah. I like I like that. That's a wide hull too. That's nice. Yep. Be nice and stable. Yeah, Mass yeah. sergeant won't fall out of it. Maybe. Maybe. If he falls out, I'll put him back in. After he gets done laughing. <laughs> I have a bad habit of doing that whenever I fall. I won't. Now nah, I would not <laughs> laugh at you. <laughs> much. Not yeah, not much. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let this water drain, and I'll show you, uh, show something else in a minute. All right, water has drained out for the most part, so we're we'll gonna pull out from under it, and we'll get it flipped over. Ease out from under it. Yeah. <coughs> I don't think I need to be in the Jeep. Slide it this way a little bit. Yeah, I think so. By hand? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let me get out and run it. Alright, we're gonna <coughs> see if we can't flip it over. Now yeah, this should be fun. I don't know, we 
you think. Except for the fact that it's hanging up in the middle. We can probably charge it from right here. Right. Turn it from right there and then slide on them boards. Can't do it, I'll get Joey out of the house. All right, hang on. We gotta call in some help. The head on this rivet's almost wore off. Right there? Yeah. Well, we got it flipped. We got the boys out to help. We forgot to turn the camera back on, but oh well. Now you can tell it's been patched before. And there's green mold here and there, which means it would leak. <coughs> Pardon me. That, that side over there is worse. Yep. Yeah. But it should be an easy fix. <coughs> I'll clean it off real good. We see I see of every one of them. See here? Yeah. There, there. Now I may get some epoxy paint, uh, bottom paint for it. Or I may uh, that Fiberglass. Yeah, fiberglass might work. Or a truck bed. Stuff like you spray on truck beds. That rhino liner? Yeah, a rhino liner. That might work too. Taking brush that on there. <coughs> Pardon that me. Might work too. Or I could get some JB weld and go around each one, which would only take about two weeks. <laughs> that'd be that'd, that'd be a lot. At least two <coughs> But you boat guys out there, let me know what you would do. Um, I'm thinking sort of a epoxy paint once I get it nice and clean and prepped. A marine grade epoxy paint might might fill these little things up. The thing, the thing about it is it's in good shape for as old as it is. Oh yeah, yeah, it's not in bad shape at all. It's in good shape. But uh but we know it was leaking because somebody patched it before, so and like I said before, this is gonna be chances are this is gonna be my last boat and I don't wanna cut any corners with it. I know it'll be expensive either way I go, but this is, in my opinion, the most important important part of the boat is the bottom. No leaks. I've dealt with a leaky old boat for a long time, and I don't want to deal with it no more. <coughs> Plus, I don't want Master Sergeant to get his feet wet. That's right. You know, them Air Force guys, they Those don't... Old guys get our feet wet. Yeah, them Air... On the rheumatiz. Them Air Force guys, they don't like to get their feet wet unless they jump out of an airplane or something. But, uh, you know, that's how it is. <laughs> don't you throw nothing at me. That's what he's doing. He's looking for something to throw at me. <laughs> all right i think that's going to do it for today uh, i'm going to let it sit here for a couple days and dry out let all that foam bleach out and dry and i'll get the trailer back back up here out of the way somewhere so there is a boat project video for today if I do anything else to it next day or two, I will show you. And what we got there? Hole? Got a hole right there? Right there. It's yeah, a hole. Sure is. That'll be a uh, maybe JB Welt or something. Something. Yeah. Might looks like another one over there, don't it? Oh, right here. Yeah. Yep. Sure is. That's a big one there. Yep. Oh well, it's not that bad. Ain't no big thing. Nothing we can't fix. 
Here's another one. Right there. Yep. That's all right. Look here. Look at this one. That's where they patched it once before. Yeah, you can see the grinding marks on yeah, there. Yeah, where they ground it. That's a hole right there. But that's okay. They're all fixable. Oh, yeah, we fix it. Every one of them is fixable. Now, this boat will fish this year, I guarantee you. I'm planning the trip right now to get up to my cousin Jay's and get those boat motors, and we'll decide which is the best one for it. But, uh, that's coming. Oh, wow, look at the size of these two. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. And it's getting cold out here. It's supposed to be in the 40s tonight. Good. Yep, down this. the 40s tonight. We thought winter was over, but it's not. So, uh, anyway, that'll do it for today. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. I'll see you later. I'll see you later, too. He'll see you later. Bye.